Hello YouTube, we are Half Man Half Beast, and welcome to FIFA Fridays. We're gonna play a best of three, and the loser is gonna watch the winning goal for 10 minutes. Let's do it. Italy, like, Italy was my jam back in 2006, right? They won in 2006, or yes. was it? Yeah, the one against, they won against uh, France. France, that was Zinedine Zidane. France. That was, that <laughs> was the <laughs> <end of it>. <laughs> <laughs> So I didn't know how good Zinedine Zidane was no, in, I didn't in the world of, of soccer. And I had, I had been playing, but I didn't know that he was essentially, you know, he's not a Michael yeah. Jordan. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you serious? We were talking about Zinedine, and I just channeled him. Soak it in. Oh, speaking, yeah. Honda. <laughs> my wife said that when I play, my face gets like really red. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <gasps> oh my. Not the start Jeff was hoping for. Um, it's exactly the start I drew. Montolivo! <laughs> Olivo has the pace of a newborn turtle. So Jeff, yeah. What do you think about the USA national team in its current state? It's uh, it's disappointing, honestly. Yeah. It's just, it's kind of annoying that we're in this position. I thought we turned a corner. Yes, I know. We we finally found a rhythm. I didn't agree with Landon Donovan being taken off the squad, but it turned out, you know. It worked out for a second. This is why I'm disappointed as well. I think I thought when Jurgen Klinsmann first came on, it was this exciting change for U.S. soccer and this potentially uh, for us to change the attitude of soccer in our country. That's what I was excited about: was that we were potentially going to get this really decorated coach, this really de well, not excuse me, not decorated coach, player, player. Um, I think it was important. Different. Yeah, it was important to have a player. Yes, it is a little bit of a difference, but. Uh, it is important to have somebody who's won, though, on the biggest stage with Germany. This is going to be a goal. <laughs> Rick. What, are, what yeah. are our chances for qualifying? What do you, what are you, what do you see happening? It, it's, never, it's never a positive sign to have your coach fired within the middle of a campaign. Let's, it's like your dad being thrown out of a, a soccer game. <laughs> You're saying they're not going to qualify. As of right now, I don't think they'll qualify. Um, See, I think they will. It's the Concacaf is feather soft. Yes, it's the it's, it's downy. It's, it's downy. It's, it's downy. Soft. It's no Oceana. It's new, the fluffiest softness. Come on in, fluffy, soft, fluffy, soft, soft to feeling. Only downy has the feeling. All right, so that was the first game. I took that one with some early goals, and Jeff's looking some crap goals. <laughs> He's looking for his redemption, and we're gonna play right now. Your career's up. Yep. Uh, whereas defense is a little more, you you really are doing your job if they don't notice you. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a fair point. I mean, oh that's... no! Right netting the most beautiful goal in the world. <laughs> Versus the inexperienced, oh, like this Montalivo goal. I think, I think you're right that there is more emphasis put on youth these days than probably in the past. Because it's more exciting, and honestly, it's even more marketable. It's way more marketable. Yeah, something new, something fresh. So I get why there's like that when, pressure. When Messi first came on the scene, it was like unheard of. <sighs> that this 19 year old was killing it on Barcelona. I remember watching 2006. His, uh, his hand of God moment. <laughs> With that. You've seen the old pictures of Messi, he's got the nastiest hair. Oh, super nasty. Like, he looks full Diego Maradona. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my <laughs> gosh, he just sailed it! Oh, oh my goodness. Where's my team? No, oh, what a. Whoa, what a bad ball. Whoa! 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 Wow, 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 wow! Wow! Wow, wow Ethan. Wow, Ethan. <laughs> I get too. I, I like sometimes I just pass. You just too much. You just suck. 
<laughs> no! No! No way! That was uh that was the mad I know. <laughs> I took game two with a 1-0 nasty little delicious goal. So it's 1-1. One, one. Let's do this. I've loved Luka Modric since his talking days. And he's a the reason Modric is very interesting to me. Dang it. <laughs> there is a theory. What's the theory? You have to score to win. <laughs> That's a Jurgen didn't believe in that. No, he did not. So his theory was wi widely discredited uh, by most soccer purists. Purists. <laughs> oh, that guy had a yellow. I feel like the goal that's gonna win it is gonna be just nasty. <laughs> oh, that's offside. <laughs> If it was just this like deflection goal. This piece of crap deflection. I tripped him up in the handicap zone. <laughs> yeah! <Ooh>. Oh! <laughs> gonna be just nasty. <laughs> if it was just this like deflection goal. This piece of crap deflection. This piece of crap deflection. <laughs> you have to watch this goal! <laughs> piece of crap deflection. <laughs> For 10 minutes! And, and it's, a, it's a horrible goal. Oh it's a, it's a <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible goal. The keeper had everything in his power. I have to watch this stupid goal. For 10 minutes. An own goal. A goal that he did not deserve. I have to watch this goal for 10 minutes. Mm. This is my favorite part right here when it goes in. <laughs> How's it look from this angle? Not much better. Damn, he was ready too. Look at that. <laughs> it ends with just a solid fist. He was just very stoked that he got away with not letting three goals in. He just Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Please subscribe and like our video down below. And see you next week. See you guys.